Well, hello everybody. Yeah, I guess put it out there. Well, hello everybody. How you doing? Old Ray here. We're trying the new Hydroforce system. At the four inch, my hose might be a little bit too long. Uh, with it choking down from three to two, I'm not getting near the violent waters I was. This is set at 11 degrees or 10 degrees right now. It's 10 degrees angle. But I can put my fingers in here and I can feel the matting on every one of these just barely. There's some material, but not that much. I don't see nothing spectacular about that. Um, again, I'm running my Hydroforce. Uh, down here got my pump everybody's got their pumps the 13 horsepower 390 Honda uh, I guess these guys over here with the Viper they've got it too now this is a combination my matting I guess I'll go ahead and go back to this uh, I'm giving it a try with the Yukon because I was I went with the Yukon with the way my violent bo box was so violent with the water pressure before but now that I'm with this I'm not sure if it's going to be a good idea I might go with another matting again we'll have to see on the clean out I won't know um, the problem with it is you can see how far the tide's already gone out <coughs> about every 15 minutes I got to move up and up and up and I can only bore about a five foot around hole about three foot down in 15 20 minutes before I have to move again and sometimes you got to move a long ways before you can really do it uh, traveling with the dredge is just a real son of a gun so that's why I'm trying this hydroforce so I can stay in one area and just uh, rock and roll uh, once it's all rocking and rolling pretty good it's just you sit it down you leave it there bam and it just starts sucking the sand now granted this application ain't gonna work everywhere but so far it works pretty darn good here um uh, with me having to go i've got uh 200 and 250 feet of uh two inch lay flat so i'm losing a lot of my pressure even out of that three by four pump that keen three by four pump but it's still sucking up it's got plenty of water it should could use a little bit more but it ain't too bad and i appreciate uh russ's lead man over here giving me a hand um I never can remember his fellow's name, but he's giving me a hand while I'm running the computer or the, running the camera. I may end up having to shorten my line a little bit, I think. I guess I could have looked and seen how it looked when he did it. Looks pretty good. And we're just gonna keep on keeping on and keep building a hole out here. We got, uh, this is the 3rd of July. Later on today, they'll be firing off all the fireworks down there in downtown, right at midnight. Midnight, 3rd of the July. Um, we're all getting ready for America's Independence Day coming up at midnight. Well, I just ran out of gas and that was a good time to see what the mat looks like. I mean, we got mat exposed on some of it, but we're also overburdened on some of it too. But this is just a gas instantly shutting down. So this is what it looks like right when it's actually processing, so. I might could go a steeper angle maybe. Boy, this gold is so fine it's gonna to be too hard to see any just sitting here 
Yeah, it's nice to look at it. Let's get some gas in here and refire. Hello everybody. Hey, well, happy 4th of July in just a few more hours. It's 9 o'clock. Dang near 9 o'clock. Tide's starting to come in pretty quick now. I'm just going to be able to... I ain't gonna be able to run that much longer because I'm gonna about to run out of gas. I made a few mistakes tonight. I should have brought a lawn chair. I should have brought uh, a couple more drinks. Uh, soda pops, of course. Um, should have brought a shovel. That's a borrowed shovel. And I had to borrow some two by fours and get more buckets and lift this thing up in the air further. Uh, this is about the way it's been running all night long. This is the maximum pressure on that pump. Uh, I'm just having to push it too far. This 250 feet, I'm losing too much draw on the pressure for that uh, hydro force to really work good. Um, I like the way the mats look. I'm kind of pulling the material off the top. This hole right here basically is the hole I've been digging. I've just been kind of pulling this lat these first top two to three feet. You can see the groundwater seeping in. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna run until I run out of gas and then I'm gonna have to wait for the tide to finish up I got I bummed five get or ha half of a gallon up of one of these guys that's all he had left and that should be enough to get me over to over to the boat launch so I guess more on 4th of July later looking downtown we're getting closer to sunset but we still probably got Hell, it'll, be, it'll still be light two hours from now, even. Um, fireworks should be showing up downtown. I'll probably be gone by then. I think it happens about well, right at midnight. Okay, well, talk to you later. Oh, here comes our bicycle tire guy. He's going to dredge. He's on it. Those are his children out there. Look at them swimming. They lost one of their balls, man. They swam, they swam clear out past that boot, that white buoy out there. Brave little suckers. Good to be young, I guess. <laughs> Those are his children. The guy with the little dredge there. Those are his kids. Beautiful day. No seams ain't even that bad. No seams are pretty, I mean fairly calm, but I got a lot of bug dope on too. So these is this is our golden sands oh there's a firework go right over there all right well i better get off the, get off the acker finish off with prospector radio which i'm probably going to be missing their show everybody's down having fun down in alabama this weekend tim grimes down there gonna try to do a live show <coughs> my gold hog match gonna give this yukon under expanded to try i think i got the wrong flow but i got one other mat i can try out too just not quite enough water pressure doing it this way for this mat I don't think I could be wrong all right I'm gonna hop off the phone well guys it's the final shutdown I'm out I'm out of gas engine's out of gas and uh, I'm almost out of gas and here's the final shutdown I'll take it home classify it now that kind of <laughs> compacted up pretty bit right there but the whole side of the box loaded up pretty bad I'm supposed to have exposed mats you know like this like that but when it's compacted and I just brushed some stuff that was on there it's my fault but yeah well find out well it's 10 o'clock and I'm finally loaded up 100% I think uh, time to go home. Got the lone star dredger out there. He thumbs high. He's going to get the gold. He's another body man. Family's up here having fun with Fort July. They're firecracking. Douglas Island always, if you look, you look at Douglas Island, it's always crackling over. Douglas Island always celebrates big time. Juno's kind of a footy duddy, but Douglas rocks. All right, folks. I'm gonna fire up and go home.
wonder if this thing got enough juice to film the whole trip over. trip though. It's 10 minutes worth of doing it. Got a cruise ship down there in the very end. Going around the point of Douglas. That's kind of pretty. In order to go north to Haines, you got to go around this island. You can't go all the way up in between the islands. Looks like they're starting to, some of the fireworks on the town side now. I was surprised to not see no fish jumping. Feller caught a fish earlier tonight. It's almost flood, you'd think fish would be coming in. how many concentrates I get out of my dredge. Heck of a lot more cons. That's a half a five gallon bucket full. About to run it through my multi sluice and see what we caught. Well I'm gonna go ahead and run some of this cons. I'm almost actually almost done. Now the guys kind of screwed me a little bit last night. Uh, they used some uh, soap in their cons when they were cleaning it out. That's why I have bubbles in my that's why I have bubbles in my sluice. Um, let's see what kind of gold I get here. Kind of difficult to film and scoop and think about everything that needs to be going on. But uh, it's all good. Well, I'm sure hoping that looks as good basically right here in the pan when I'm all done measuring and weighing out. But that looks pretty sweet for the first time using that 4 inch hydro force nozzle. And even it wasn't working all that good. Get that fine tuned in and look at that. Let's see what happens. Well, it's better than I thought it was going to be. Well, looking at it now that I shut the water down, not near as good as what the old boys got. I'll be lucky if I get eight grams out of it. I'll be damn lucky if I get eight grams. But I do got gold. Hey, there's always a bonus. When you got gold, that's always a bonus. 
<laughs> happy, happy, happy. You know, for recreational prospecting, this is this is fun. This is fun. A hobby that's actually giving me a little bit back. Thank you, Gold Hog. Thank you, Gold Prospector Space and MDV over at I Pan for Gold. Thank you. You guys feed my addiction. <laughs> well, this kind of surprises me. It's actually kind of the bigger, chunkier. I mean, there's a lot more plus 100 gold in this. I guess I'll find out when I finally get it panned down. Also got a lot, a lot of degraded lead in this batch. Huh. Well, my take ended up being 89.5 grains of minus 100. You know, if I know what the plus 100 is here in a minute. And essentially 44 grains, actually it's 43.9 grains of plus 100 gold. Okay, that's what it looks like. That's all my plus 100 right there. That's all my minus 100. That's 8.6 grams altogether from last Sunday. Ha! Huh. I'm pretty happy with that. Wasn't as good as the other guys, but they've been doing it every single day. They're getting it fine tuned in. I only get to do it one day a week. If I'm lucky to do then. Later, guys. I'm going to get some more tomorrow. Ha! Huh.